a clinical detachment is important if you are dedicated to operating your resale business as a real business. Rule number one is to never fall in love with your inventory. Passion for a category often gets people started reselling. It's a great jumping off point. Working with things you already know is a huge advantage. It also comes with some pitfalls. It can be hard to separate that passion from the business of buying and selling. Keep the personal collection separate from your inventory. Easier said than done, but necessary. The fact is, when buying goods to resell, you will buy some winning and some losing items. A few will win big, a few you may regret, most will sell in a fairly predictable range. Even Walmart buyers who have thousands of data points at their fingertips don't get it right every time. If you shop at Kohl's, all those racks stuffed with last season's fashion prove the same point. When a professional buyer figures out they have a dud, they cut their losses and move on. It works for the biggest and the best, it can work for you too. It's fun to celebrate and remember the successes. Those wins can help guide future purchases. Allowing your online store or shop to get clogged up with ignored duds is a sure recipe for failure. Don't ignore those losers. Do what the pros do, get what you can out of them, and move on. If you are buying and selling consistently and have a decent understanding of how to value goods, things have a way of evening out. If you are starting out, you will have quite a few duds. It's part of the cost of gaining skill. Don't fret, just learn and grow. One important thing to keep in mind, no one cares what you paid for an item. They only care what they are willing to pay. Once it's bought and paid for, it's a sunk cost. Focus on selling it for a reasonable amount of money based on the ever-changing market. If you avoid getting hung up on what you paid, you will be better at turning goods. Don't be greedy. Everything has a value based on supply and demand that goes up and down all the time. Getting a reasonable return on many items is a lot more successful long term than trying to hit grand slam home runs every time. How quickly you need your money out of an item matters. If it's a big ticket item that restricts your ability to buy the next thing, turn it quickly. If you can afford to keep that money tied up for a bit, you may be able to maximize your return on that investment. Even then, never lose sight of the time invested. A mental trick. When you look at your shelves of goods for sale, look at them as stacks of money. It's really cash stuck on shelves until they sell. If some of that money sitting on a shelf is covered in cobwebs, dust it off and cut your losses. Being intentional about turns, keeping a clinical detachment about inventory, and focusing on reasonable returns can help sustain a long-term successful online business. Knowledge is power, it's also profit. You made it to the end. Now you have to subscribe. There's plenty more content designed to help you find and profit from the good stuff in thrift stores and garage sales. Thanks, it helps a lot.